Hello everyone, welcome to Geeker Mag. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about Path of Exile 2 freezing and crashing issue after installing Windows 11 2 for H2 update, as well as cover possible solution that might help you in fixing the issue. Internet is full of threads where lots of users showing their frustration regarding this issue. What actually happens while playing the game, users on the new Windows 11 2 for H2 update complete PC freezes during the loading screen. Even task manager isn't opening so that they can kill the process and bring the PC in normal state. They have to force restart it. This is happening because CPU utilization hitting 100% during certain loading screens which leaves no CPU power for the OS and cause the PC to freezes. And if you landed on this video then it's possible that you are also facing the same issue. The good thing is Microsoft is aware of this issue as one thread on the feedback app has a status we are looking into the issue. At this point there is no clarification from company end regarding what causing the issue. So only thing we can do is wait till their statement come up. Let's talk about solution. As per the reports from users on Reddit, by reducing the CPU cores assigned to Path of Exile in the task manager, they managed to stop the PC from completely freezing. After doing this, when the game crashes or stops responding, you can close it and relaunch it to avoid full system freeze. So next time, do this before launching the game. I don't have game installed on my PC, so I'm just showing you the process with other program. Launch task manager, switch to details tab, locate the game, it should be path of exile or PoE, right click on it and select set affinity. This will launch core window, uncheck two cores, let's uncheck core 0 and 1 and click OK. And this should fix the issue. In case game still freezing, then it's best to roll back to Windows 11 2.3 H2 until the issue is fixed. For that launch setting, system, recovery and under recovery options, click on the go back option. But you need to keep in mind that this option is available only for 10 days after upgrading to the newer version. What you can do is go back to settings home screen, switch to windows update, update history, Look for this problematic update as per the reports from users that is KB5048667. If you have installed it on your PC, scroll down to uninstall updates. Here click on uninstall link and follow on screen instructions. Once this update is uninstalled, you need to restart your computer and probably this should fix the issue. I hope this helps and if you are aware of any other solution that helps in fixing the issue then feel free to share in the comments as this will help other affected gamers. Whenever I get more update on this issue I will keep you in the loop. And if you find this video useful don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel to get notifications about more similar videos. Thanks for watching.